I feel very energized after the yoga practice. I feel that my productivity has increased. So whatever task when I am not practicing yoga was taking me 8 to 10 hours to complete. With yoga practice, I feel enhanced energy levels and I can complete the same task within few hours. Stress happens due to various reasons. When you are not able to manage certain things, it can happen due to the climatic conditions, adverse situations, which leads to different, uh, the science would be, you will see imbalance in physical system, physiological system, and psychologically they might feel restless. Immediate effect of stress, you cannot see uh, which, which in current scenario, you'll see that people are experiencing lack of sleep. They'll feel due to anxiety, they are unable to sleep. And they'll undergo different imbalances physiologically, indigestion and heart rate increases. And you'll feel stiffness in the muscle. And there are some practices which can be done to overcome this stress but we neglect and it leads to severe medical conditions and severe medical conditions then we, we keep on uh, meeting doctor and we try to see that oh we, we are looking for a shortcut yes. we are seeing that and this stress is just because we are not able to manage something and when stress is also beneficial there are two types of stress one is the U stress, one is the de stress. Stress in moderation is very beneficial. St when it is not in moderation, when you are not able to handle certain things, it leads to imbalance and it leads to adverse conditions. Let me share an example. These days, if you have played a guitar, you will see that when the strings are too tight, it will break. And when the strings are too loud, loose, the music will not be played properly and the, the sound will not come properly. So moderation is important. When the strings are tight in moderation, you will see that the sounds are coming very well. Same, things, same thing happens in our life. When we talk about yoga, yoga is just not about asana or just doing some exercises. Yoga is a lifestyle. So you, when you try to bring regulation in your life, is, that is yoga, moderation and it's, it's about yogic lifestyle. Wherever, whenever some imbalance happens, it is just not by taking a shortcut by practicing, oh there are some breathing practices, there are some asanas, we just do a short, we just do short practice which may help you temporarily but it will not cure. It is, it is not working on your roots. So when we talk about yoga, it is important that you adapt the yogic lifestyle, which will bring in change in your life. The first important step when we say that, when we are, when we are using yoga as a tool to overcome the stressful situations, first thing is setting a sankalpa, setting an intention that I really want to change to refer and I want to regulate my life. The number one is bringing discipline in your life. When you integrate discipline in your life, then the next step would be you have to pay attention to your what you eat, your diet. And then comes your practice of asanas and pranayama. You may practice regularly, but if you don't give sufficient rest, it will not help you. So next step is proper relaxation. And after relaxation, it is important to connect with the nature where you are on an open ground, you're taking fresh oxygen in. Fresh oxygen from the trees and the plants will help you to connect with the nature and that will build your energy levels. Um, as per the ancient scripture in Yoga Sutra, it's mentioned that Tasmin Sati Shwasa Prashwasaha Gati Vichedaha Pranayama. Prana is your vital energy. So, with the right breathing techniques, you can enhance your pranic energy and you can bring balance in your body and mind. 
So, simple breathing technique is the abdominal breathing, which brings immediate relaxation. If you feel anxious, you feel angry, you just place your left palm on your abdomen and breathe in deeply. First, you breathe in deeply and you ensure that your abdomen is bulging out with inhalation. And as you exhale, the abdomen is going in. And then you do it with the counts. Inhale for four counts. Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. And exhale for four counts. Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Your abdomen goes in. So this is by this will bring balance when you do in equal ratio, one is to one. But when you want little more relaxation, the same thing, you can do it with four inhalation and eight exhalation with ratio one is to two. You inhale for four counts, your abdomen bulges out and slowly with exhalation, your abdomen is going in with eight counts. Om one, Om two, Om three, Om four, Om five, Om six, Om seven, Om eight and slowly relax and observe the changes. You will feel very vibrant and relaxed. Just by following this simple breathing technique, this can be done, but it is important to keep your back upright when you practice this. And there is one more technique which can be practiced during, um, like if you, at home, this is called Brahmri Pranayama. It's a honeybee making, it's a sound of a honeybee which brings resonance in your body and mind and it lengthens your breath. Okay. Simple way to practice is whenever you eat any sweet, you get that sound called mmm. You feel that. So same thing you have to feel also. Feeling is important by just mechanically practicing, the effect will not be enhanced. So when you feel it and do it, the effect is enhanced. So I'll just demonstrate. So you can just do a simple variation of Brahmri. You place your palm at the heart center. You take a deep breath in, inhale. And with exhale, exhale with a humming sound. slowly open your eyes, you'll feel the vibrations are building positive energy around you and a state of calmness which will immediately bring your stress level down, anxiety also reduces and you feel more relaxed. This is a very good practice especially people who are having sleep disorders, who are due to anxiousness, they are unable to sleep, this for they feel very relaxed and it will improve the sleep quality. I feel very energized after the yoga practice. I feel that my productivity has increased. So whatever task when I am not practicing yoga was taking me 8 to 10 hours to complete. With yoga practice, I feel enhanced energy levels and I can complete the same task within few hours. So I feel that practicing yoga has become part of my life and with as it's how people feel when we um, wake up, we brush our teeth, we want to take bath, we feel regenerated. So this is the same way, it's become part of me. And when I practice yoga, I feel very happy and energetic. So I feel that I can be more productive and I can help more share the knowledge of yoga in a better way. So th this has motivated and inspired me. So which makes me follow a routine of, of yoga practice in my daily life.